and gentlemen, my name is Power of Gamer. Today I got a gameplay of Division 2. I'm doing a mission called Hope on Titan. Just going to. I have a bad feeling about this. Pretty much try to clear this mission out to hopefully get back. Wants cars, but and there's another topic I want to be talking about, which I'll be getting to it in a bit. This video, Division Two, is pretty good. Uh, if you don't know what happens in the beginning, I might show that in the next episode uh, next time, but this time is where the enemy came uh, attack our home planet took the light and now it's time to get in the light for himself but as we try to work out we try to Fight back now, claim it, that back and defeat him. So, why are you watching this? I'm going to be talking about the subject that I really want to talk about because I've been hearing this a lot, and I mean quite a lot when I'm playing my games that I'm hearing. Other players getting commented to saying they're a rubbish player. To me, there is no such thing as a rubbish player. I have a bad feeling about this. Can you tell you reason why I don't think there's such, no such thing as a rubbish player? It's because that reason why. There is no such thing as player because in a day games are for fun, are entertainment to enjoy, to have fun, talk to your friends online, play games with them. Like this, it's just so simple things like this what makes. But then when you hear get someone to criticise you saying you're a rubbish player. It destroys you the point of the game is to have fun. That's what most people want, don't they? You want it, don't you? When you're playing games, you want to have fun. You don't want to be criticized that you're a rubbish player when you really are not. You're only there to have fun, play game, to enjoy the game. And that's why I don't get with some people like to criticize people for who they are because uh, they think they're a rubbish player when they're brilliant. Not. And these people keep saying, I'm a hardcore gamer. What do you class as a hardcore gamer? Someone. He's really good, they don't die, they don't they win all the time. No, I don't class that as a hardcore okay, gamer. Sloan, we a hardcore gamer center. is Copy that. people Keep pushing uh, forward. playing Commander, games constantly rate, we can start planning our counter every day, we'll every minute, every hour. No They're constantly on it. That's what I class as a hardcore gamer. It's like me. Sometimes I do pretty good on some games or match or so. I don't class myself a hardcore gamer, but I do use them all out certain games. Some games I don't, some games I do. It's exactly the same with other play people players out there. People can play good and bad at the same time. They can do poor one match, 
and do good the next one. There is no such thing as a rubbish player. There will always be no such thing as a rubbish player. Because everyone can be improve their gameplay. They can always improve the fun of playing the game. But in a day, games are supposed to be fun, enjoyable. Not to be criticized saying you're a rubbish player when you not. Oh, because you keep getting, like, saying the division. You keep going down. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're a rubbish player, it just means you're not. What? You're not. Why would division it? It's like a cover based game that you keep in cover. Some people don't do that, some people do. But I take. Some, I go down in division, uh, division. It's only because I don't think keep an eye on my health. It's only because I don't keep an eye on my health that I go down. And when I do keep an eye on my health, that's fine. But then I don't. Put, I then I forgot concentrate on how many mad packs I got. Because in division you carry five. And sometimes I forget about that. How many I'm carrying. So, people, players out there, you get in a player saying you're a rubbish player. You're not a rubbish player. Just tell that person, say, I'm only here to play, enjoy the game, have fun, what you're supposed to be. That is just one critic. You shouldn't let that one critic get you down and say, right, this is bad enough. I'm selling my console. And get a different one. Get a PS. They save you on Xbox One game. And you had this person say you're a rubbish player. And you let that happen and let him say. And you started to say, I'm going to sell my console. Don't. <clears throat> Don't. That is just one person put it in the game. Doesn't matter how many people tell you that you're a rubbish player, you should never let them put you down and say, that. I'm going to sell my console. No. Never do that. Because no matter if you move to a PS4, there will be someone on the PS4 say you're a rubbish player. Because it seems so easy to criticize people they on their gaming. And truly you're there to play fun. I I play games for fun. I don't I play as good as I can, but I don't I play much I'm just there to play the game for fun, enjoy the game. And especially when some of the games is full with a story. I love the game has a storyline to it. That's entertainment for me, that's enjoyment for listening to and watch a storyline to the game. It's like uh, playing... Uh, what's that game on? Uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, I got so hooked on it, but the storyline was amazing on it. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. But it got me blind hurt. It looked like the, the hive were performing some kind of ritual. We should talk to Ikora. Destiny has she a storyline to, to it. know about hive magic. Division. No one has seen Slightly have a, a storyline to them. Since the city fell. Slightly had a storyline to it. Same with Destiny. They have a storyline built into their game which is cool I 
I like storyline because it hooks me in it. Really There's the control center. But never let someone so we can say in. that you are a rubbish player when you really are not. You're in there to enjoy the fun, enjoy the game. And you, I'm not going to point fingers out, but you know who you are. When you, you're the critic, as someone who set up this player, please stop. Remember, it's a game to enjoy, to have fun, to play with your friends, not to criticize saying they're a rubbish player. So please, whoever's saying that, stop doing it and enjoy the game. Be able to enjoy it ever. Because you just get, you just lose friends that way, you just lose people to play game, the game with. You're saying that you're a rubbish player, when you're not. You're saying that and you just lose that person, that friend, to play, that, to play the game with that friend. Or the player who's just got to report you. Or put you as a, on the list of block the player so they'll never play the game with you ever anymore. Mm. You lose the years bit, so play with that player. So wherever you are, please stop saying you're that person that player is a rubbish player. There is no such thing. And I want to put that one out nice and strongly. There is no such thing as a rubbish player. There is such thing as it's called a sore loser. Just take when you lose, you lose. Play the game again. It's we made it slow. Supposed to be fun. Perfect. Recon the perimeter before you move on the. But there is such thing as called sore winner. Someone wins and rub it in their face. Yeah, you won. Congratulations. You won again, but you might lose the next one. So it's about enjoying the game, not criticizing. You're a shit player. You're a rubbish player. I'm sorry, but I have to say that word. But some people use it, and I'm not pointing fingers at. So it looks like we're standing in some kind of high breeding ground. So, I'm going to end this subject on that, okay, because it's not nice when someone says you're a rubbish player. You're only there to enjoy the game. Okay, so that's the last time I'm going to say about this subject. In the game, I'm gonna. Um, in this mission, I've got to destroy these yellow, roby things. Like, I think they're like eggs. You know, like spawn eggs. Where they? That's how they win. That's how they. You fair? How they? So I'm going to let you watch the rest of this um, video on your own because it's nice to watch some <clears throat> sometimes without the, with someone talking and I'll catch you at the end of this video.
shoot the yellow sights. We cleared the nest. Heading to the control center now. Well done. Sweep the perimeter and we'll move in on your signal. Copy that. Zavala and I are inbound.
We're approaching the landing platform. Get up here and take a bow. I didn't dare believe. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. Our numbers will continue to dwindle. We can no longer protect ourselves, much less the survivors. Without the light, are we even guardians anymore? Commander. We won't last long with dead generators. Wave energy converters power this station, but thanks to the Hive, they're in need of attention. We can take care of it. Yes, I believe you can. We're not out of this yet. Now that we've reached the control center, we still need to power up the place before we can take care of our fleet. Commander Zavala tells me you've volunteered. I'll run tactical. Shipwright Holiday here will provide tech support. It's a straightforward op. Get in, flip a switch, get out. <laughs> Sloan's got a way of making things sound easy, doesn't she? Fallen here? No. Those vultures have been following us since we evacuated Earth.
Sloane, Amanda, the Hive have infected everything. Holiday, we gotta get you back in the air. We'll need ongoing aerial threat assessments to keep our perimeter secure. Oh, uh, yeah. You know my ship took a beating during the evacuation. I'll bump you to the front of the line for repairs once the lights are back on. Great. Great. See the wave energy converters from here. Sweet. Now just flip the switch and turn them on. Accessing systems now. Some of the pistons are moving, but we're still sitting in the dark. Something went wrong. Pistons must be jammed. Sorry, pal, but you're gonna have to go out there. Bring a workaround.
hear that? Made it to the converter platforms. Okay. Get to the stalled pistons. See what's jamming them. Once they're all moving, we're in business. Oh yeah, found the problem. The hive have gunked up the pistons. Then let's find a fix. First piston's good to go. We gave it a power scrubbing. That's great and all, but, uh, it's still pretty dark on this end. Sounds like you got more scrubbing to do, Guardian. Final piston is clear. Control center's still dark, so it's gotta be more than a piston problem. I have to get in butts with the circuit breakers. Try the central platform. Everything routes through there.
circuit breaker is going to be around there somewhere. Find it and flip the switch. Just like I said. Enemy transmissions. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I know I came on a little bit strong on about the um, of there is no such thing as a rubbish player, but that's it, okay? I I hope you enjoyed this video and please if you're new hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, it tells you every video that I do, hit that like, hit that comment below if you agree what I said or what I didn't say and I'll catch you up in the next video and happy gaming and see you later. The apocalypse.